men were men unless they were horses. And it was here in this secluded valley that Canada's most valiant steeds roamed wild and unfettered. It was from this vast herd the Canadian Mounted Police selected their mounts. Well, do right, I see you got yours. Yes, Inspector, he's a beauty. Palomino, I think. Tell me, what is that hanging down from underneath? Uh, an extra saddle, Inspector. The Mountie sitting on the cow is our indefatigable hero, Dudley Do-Right, the Catholic champion of the 1904 Olympics, which were not held that year. Well, sir, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll take Whirlwind here back to the post and give him a brushing down. You do that, Do-Right. For two weeks, Dudley put his noble steed through a rigorous training course, jumping, trotting, saluting, everything that was required of a Mountie horse. It wasn't until the animal gave 14 pints of milk that Dudley became suspicious. Inspector? What is it, Do-Right? I think my horse is sick. Luckily for all concerned, one of the Monty's was an ex-veterinarian. It was he who labeled the horse a cow. Do right, we are in trouble. Colonel Crimcrammer is due here tomorrow. As usual, he wants his mounties to be mounted. Don't you worry, sir. I'll be on a horse. Colonel Ogden Crimcrammer was at that very moment aboard the Saskatchewan Express. On a vacation, Colonel? No, no. Going up to inspect the mounty post. Got a few changes to make. This is where our plot sickens. For directly in back of the Colonel sat that black-hearted rascal, Snidely Whiplash. Again, this situation is positively rampant with evil ramifications. <clears throat> I uh, beg your pardon, Colonel Crimcrammer, but the engineer would like to have a word with you. Oh, really? Where is he? In the last car. The Colonel was already in the last car, therefore, when he left it, he left the train. Whiplash, posing as Colonel Crimcrammer, appeared at the post the following morning. Good to see you again, Fenwick. You've changed, Colonel. Last year, you were six foot three. Whiplash was about to come up with a reason why he had shrunk when his beady eyes ran down the line of men and focused on Dudley. I must be seeing things. There's a Mountie sitting on a rocking horse. Do right. It was the only horse I could find, Inspector. Steady, boy. You'll have to excuse him, Colonel. He's just getting over a case of hoof and mouth. Get off the rocket, Do-Right. Do-Right is the only man here who anticipated my new regulation. What new regulation is that? This one. And Whiplash hastily scribbled an order stating that henceforth all Mounties would ride rocking horses. Naturally, when the criminal element heard of this, they ran wild. Inside of a week, Canada was in the grip of an unprecedented crime wave. Do right, the Canadian National Bank has just been robbed. Go get him. But it was a little difficult to go get him when your horse Millie rocked back and forth. Hours passed and the situation grew more tense. Any sign of the bank robbers, Do right? Not yet, Inspector, but I'm on their trail. At that rate, the only way a criminal would be caught was if he happened to come to the post, which is exactly what happened. The bank robbers, loaded with Canadian clubs and carrying sacks of money, darted inside the gate, hoping to use the post as a hideout. Luckily for them, they blundered into Dudley. You men see any bank robbers? They were too shocked to answer. Never mind, I'll get them anyway. Onward, boy, onward! the gang proceeded to take the post over. They overpowered every Mountie they saw, including Inspector Fenwick. It is getting dark, faithful steed. We must return to the post and report. The bank robbers, having bound and gagged everyone, were contemplating passing the time with torture. I say, let's make them watch television. Yeah, three months of commercials. Before they could carry out their fiendish designs, they were interrupted. Would you mind telling the inspector that my horse and I are still looking for the bank robbers? Oh, there's the inspector. Pardon me, sir, but... Yes, I agree, sir. It is cool in here. I'll throw some wood on the fire. But in the dim light, our dim wet threw not firewood, but firearms. Seconds later... It's the compass! And 
And when the smoke of battle cleared, Dudley stood alone, victorious. Hmm, it's a lot warmer in here now. The gang was cutted off to prison. As for the Mounties, they had no time to relax, for the real Colonel Crimp Crammer arrived and proceeded with his inspection. Well, Colonel, as you can see, every one of my men is groomed to mount his specification. Yes, yes, but there are some changes I'd like to make. Oh, what did you have in mind? Well, to start with...